Welcome back, welcome back. I know you miss, know you miss, know you miss. Speed, 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 speed. Hold it. Oh, that's perfect. Brother, play through it. You see what they don't? They say what they want. This is an official business. Back, welcome back. I know you miss me. It's Coach P, aka Go Do, one half of the unofficial assistants. You might know me as Coach Oof. Honorary Oof. So, shout out to Coach Nitty. Shout out to Coach D. Shout out to Coach B. We the unofficial assistant coaches, baby. Checking in today on that much, that much anticipated interview with my boy, newcomer, Jake No Pope Joe. No joke, Pope. You got to say it right, baby. You got a little tongue twister right there. But we ready to get him in. Hey, it, it came out wrong like he hit me, like I was burning. got hit on that sideline. I got up off the ground, and it, my, my brain was boggled. You know, we just, we just excited to have this youngster here. We want to see what's going on in these practices, man. What's, what's the talk like? What's the new atmosphere like? Can we get crunk, baby? Can we feel good about this year? Well, we got the inside plug, baby. See, those those older the old heads, I'm trying I'm starting to realize they just go tell us what we want to hear. These new these newcomers go give it to us raw, go give it to us rough. Shout out to Day Day. Hey, but hey, shout out to Coach B. Shout out to Coach D. Coach Nita, where y'all at? Can I talk to y'all before we get, before we bring in our great guest of the night? Roll tide. Roll tide, baby. Shout out to all the fans out there. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody out there rolling with Coach Nick Saban and those Nick Saban All-Stars. Another great day countdown this beautiful season, getting ready for some more SEC football. How you feeling, Coach D? I'm feeling good, Coach P. Uh, you know, we're anticipating this weekend to get to hang out with you guys. It's been a minute, so um, and way to start the week off for us and you know, with Jake, so, you know, rolling. Oh, yeah, man. Ready to hear OJ. We, like you say, we had a little scheduling situation yesterday, but you know we had to come through, baby. Mr. Jake, no joke. Hope in the house, baby. What y'all want to talk about? What y'all want to talk about? Uh, what, what, uh, is he ready to come on live, Coach, or we, or we need to uh, give him a little second uh, to get it, to get his, get his, get his, get himself ready? We ready. We ready? Well, okay. Uh, like I said, we ain't did much this this upcoming year on on getting the inside scoop from from my fans or from my supporters, I should say. So instead of just guessing on what we got going, like I just said, we had to go inside the locker room and pull out one of the people that's making a difference. I felt the guy was underrated on the on the uh, on the recruiting trail. I think we got a steal. And the way this boy attitude pumping, I know we got to steal. Now all these guys coming in on that diva crap, thinking just because you got a name on the back of your jersey, you finna just get you some time. Uh-uh. We got some dogs on the prowl, baby. And I got one of them here tonight, baby. Like I said before, I need everybody to welcome my boy, Mr. Jake. No joke, Pope, baby. Where you at, Jake, man? Talk to me, man. It's Coach Doe. Talk to me, Jake. Where What's you at? up, guys? How y'all doing? Y'all can hear me? Man, how you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, Shout out to you from the UA coaches, man. Yes, sir. It's good to meet y'all for sure. Oh, man. Uh, hey, we, we we glad to have y'all, man. And, uh, Appreciate it. And before we even start, we just hope you are a great season this year, man. Before we talk about everybody else, let's 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 get to you real quick, man. We we hope you have a great season. We're glad you chose up. And one thing we want to know, hey, why did you choose Alabama? What, 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 what made you choose to come on over to Title Town, 205, uh, home of Nick Saban? What made you come down here, Jake? And if you didn't come to Alabama, what was your school, what school could have had your services? Talk to so, uh, you know, as it got down to it, it was really between here, uh, North Carolina and Georgia. And uh, okay, okay. I just feel like along the recruiting trail, Coach Saban and then my recruit, my recruiter was with Coach Kelly at the time. He's at Colorado now. But 
Um, right, right. Just kind of stayed on me uh, the whole time, which, you know, like a lot of teams, you know, would fall off, or, you know, maybe not keep in contact with you as much. And, you know, like you're trying to be right, right. throughout the whole, you know, re- recruiting trail. And uh, all my visits were, were great. Um, I came to the spring game after actually I'd committed. And that was a, that was a great time. Um, that's when I really knew, you know, this is home for me. And uh, Coach Saban's oh, the yeah. GOAT, man. I mean, what can I say? He's, he's the GOAT. So, you only get one once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to play for him. So, And I, I don't regret it for sure. Oh, you said something damn, man. What, what school were you uh, a fan of coming up? Uh, Clemson. My dad actually played safety at Clemson um, with okay. Dawkins okay. back in the day. So, uh, were they heavy on the trail trying to get you over there? You know, that was actually the only, one of the only ones that uh didn't throw the offer out there. I'd gone to camps, you know, all throughout my life, actually, since I was you know, wow. a kid, all the way up into high school. And, you know, uh, my dad, you know, obviously had a bunch of connections up there, you know, because he played there and all that, but it just didn't work out. But, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly fine where I'm at, and uh, I'm glad it happened oh, this yeah. way. So, there you go. Most definitely. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hey, you, you, uh, I don't know if they still doing what they used to do. I would say you'll have the chance to show them uh, that they messed up, but hey, we might not even see those guys no more, man. I know you're the two, I know you're the two sports star in uh, high school, at least two, probably even more, mm-hmm. but, uh, how, well, you, you, you feeling, you feeling good on, are you just, you, you going football over baseball or you're still going to try to sneak some baseball in or how you going with that? Hey man, I love, I love baseball too. I played, I played both literally my whole life until, you know, like right. my senior year of high school, I had to set baseball down cause I was getting ready for football. Now I've always had something in my heart for football though. Um, you know, baseball, you know, if I actually had an opportunity or a bigger opportunity, you know, like getting drafted or something like that, maybe I would have looked into it. But I had some schools like want me to play both. I just thought that was going to be, you know, not enough off time to recover and stuff after ball. You know, I don't want to miss anything with ball because that's my number one sport. So right. that's kind of really how that panned out. Right, right. Yep. Right. And uh, speaking of both, I know you was playing both ways. And uh, in in high school, you you just gonna stay on the defensive side this way, or are you gonna try to sneak on that O side? What, what, what we looking yeah, like? I told Coach Wig, I, if he ever needs a receiver, I'll be more than happy to go over there. <laughs> I loved receiver in high school, man. But uh, no, it was good to play both. It gave me some more opportunities, uh, and I've uh, grown right. a lot on the defensive side. So it's going real well. Right, right. Uh, if if uh, you was if you was to move over to the offensive side of the ball, you think you can uh, work those boys? We got that DB over there. You think you can get open and do your thing? Let's, let's think, be honest I think now. I, could. I think I could. I'm not gonna lie. I think I could. Okay, so now, so now you saying that <laughs> in your first two years here? So that's telling me these other guys at these other schools who've been there about three, four years. You saying they finna cook our guys, or are you just that special yourself? Is what you saying? Hey man, I don't, I don't like to toot my own horn that much, but I was, I was, <laughs> I was a great receiver back in high school. I really, I oh, really man. Enjoyed, hey, we see the I highlight. enjoyed it a lot. I had some offers for receiver too, but I wanted to go to Bama no matter what. So whatever they wanted me to play is kind of what, what I followed. Hey. Don't be talking like that. You you'll be you'll be one of our favorite people that will come through. Don't be talking like that, Jake. <laughs> you sound like hey, that that's the type. That's what we need over here. You know we hey, see that's that non diva attitude we need right there, yes, man. Sir. See we, I'm I'm not gonna get you to talk about the rest of the team and prior attitudes and all that. Matter of fact, speaking of attitudes, how's the attitude shaping up in the locker? Do we look like a championship foundation in there, or it looking like a lot of different a lot of different mind frames, a lot of different frequencies? Is everybody on the same wave in that locker room? How how do it feel to you? Or do we got a long way to go? Oh, no, most definitely. The, the difference in this year and last year is huge. Uh, coach Saban's talked about it. Our coaches, our coaches tell us. Um, I think we, you know, we have a younger team uh, this year, in my opinion. And a lot of guys are going to have to step up. And that, that comes kind of, you know, with being a team first. And I think we've kind of gotten that down and understand, like, that's the motto for this year. Um, I think it's going to be huge for us out there on the field. Uh, we'll be playing more as a unit, you know, more than, I guess, depending on other people. Because, you know, you can't right. you can't win and, you know, you got to play as a team in the SEC. You know, there's good guys everywhere. Um, you are. So this year, now it's a lot different. We've came together um, just even, even more than last year for sure. 
Okay, okay. Will we see you at? Will we see you trying to get back there, returning any balls, or you, or you just go try to maximize uh, knowledge at that DP, yeah, I, DB I go, position? I go out there uh, every day after practice and return. So, coach, uh, our special team coach, Coach Hutz, uh, knows you know I'm down to go back there whenever. Ooh, my boy, hey, you call what we you what we call on deck. My boy just over there on deck for whatever, whatever you need, coach. Hey, holler at my boy Jay. Hey, got there you covered go. like state form. Okay, Jake, I see where you get your get that, everything I get from. I just saw that. I get that one a lot. State form. <laughs> oh yeah, I just saw that, at. Mr. State Form. Okay, because you know we was we was we was in not, we was in good hands with old Bryce, you know, Mr. All State. But I, I see what you got going over there, man. Hey, uh hey, coach, coach D, how you looking? Uh you got any questions? for my boy absolutely so um jake could you explain in your terms or your feelings the difference between pete golden and uh kevin Steele mm -hmm. for you um honestly but both are like two of my favorite coaches honestly coach pete was you know i think the main difference in him and Steele is coach Steele kind of lets i think dallas said this in the sec uh press conference conferences not too long ago but the, the main difference is probably coach Steele lets us run our own defense kind of how we want to he's always open for if we want to make any minor changes um and things of that nature both had great schemes uh no doubt and you know Saban obviously has a huge input in that as well um but no I love both and I think I think they're both uh gonna be great um Pete at Ole Miss and Steele for us honestly Still has a lot of experience as well. He's been in the game for a while. I think he's been in Alabama a couple different times with Coach Saban. So he kind of already knows how it works, which is a, a great advantage um, for us this year as well. Absolutely. Um, another question I will have for you um, going into uh, this season and based off last season, what is your approach this year uh, compared to last year? Are you? Can you repeat that one more time? Yeah, so uh, what is your approach going into this season mm -hmm. compared to last year? I got you. Um, for me, uh, it's always just kind of getting better day by day. Um, I've had a lot of progress throughout the spring, um, especially playbook-wise. You know, I've got – that's one of the harder things to learn at safety because um, you're the quarterback of the defense. And uh, I've grown a lot on, on that part and just skill-wise as well. Um, and as a whole, I guess for the team um, – you know, we're preparing to take every game uh, one step at a time and to not think ahead. Um, I, last year, you know, we were kind of thinking ahead a little bit too much, and uh, that wasn't the way to approach each game. Um, so, you know, we got a different approach coming in this year, which, which should help a lot. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, sir. Let me, let me ask you. Who you think the fastest safety we got back there? You, you competing with the fastest? Who got the speed back there? <laughs> I think we we haven't all raced yet, and I kind of I kind of want to just to see where I stack up. Um, but I don't think I. Hey, we got what, we got what we call an eyeball test, Jake. Come on now, with the eyeball test, Jake. You let me know who the fastest safety we got back there. If it got to be you, just say it. If not, you just be one hundred with me. Who we got? <laughs> hey, it's uh, at safety. Um, it's yeah, probably safety. gonna be either. I'm gonna have to say me or Malachi. Okay, Malachi got a little speed with you. Okay. Cause we know you got we know you got offensive side of the ball speed too. So I was trying to see that that translate as being uh, our it, fast, it, it fast helps. and safety. It definitely helps a lot. Okay. For sure. Who who your favorite who your favorite defensive player in the NFL? Shoot. All time or current? I like that. I I like that. I want I want both of them, and I'm glad you asked that. Yeah, that's a good one. I want both of them. Um all time. I mean, I like Dawkins and Ed Reed, honestly. Okay, um, okay. Dawkins, I may be being a little biased, but I, I've met him a couple of times just because he played my dad. He, he's, you know how he is. What do they call him, the X Factor? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then currently, um, I like Harrison Smith a lot. He's a veteran guy. I've always fought right, I've right, right. with him. Came from Notre Dame. Good dude. Great player, too, so. Yeah, I always, I always was respected rating wise on Madden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we we cool with him. Yeah, uh, Coach Needy, is Coach Needy still with us? 
Yes, sir. What's up, bro? I know you want to get in and get, and get some of this. Hey, this is my man, Coach Nitty. This hey, he he's this is the 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 player. This is the player lover right here. Hey, talk to him, Coach. I know you want to get in on that action. What you need, Coach? Jake, what's up, what's man? Up? How you doing? Doing good, man. Just just for the record, man. I'm the one who put these folks on you, man. Them boys didn't know nothing about you till I. Hey, I appreciate Jake that. Oakwell from I appreciate from, that. From, from, from hey from Buford, Georgia. Yes, sir. Hey, what is it about Buford, man? Y'all got something in the water over there, man. Y'all like the Thompson of Birmingham. Hey, hey the you, saw, of Birmingham. you saw how, that, got all you saw how that game went there. last year. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> I heard. Yeah. Uh, nah, we we've, we've had we've had a pretty good program over there for a while, and then uh, we kind of fell off a little bit, and then our new coach, Coach App, got hired, and he he won three straight with us. So uh, oh, you know, we had a really nice. good team. A lot of guys went on to play at the next level. Yeah, I know Isaiah Bond came from there. Oh, my boy. Uh, and, and uh of course uh the newcomer this year, the the one who we looking everyone's excited to see Justice. Justice Taylor. heck yeah. No, he's gonna do great this year. For sure. Is he there? Hey, hey, hold up, just to, just give us the just give us the heads up. Is he something special? Oh yeah, he's he's a real deal for sure. Pure back, like a pure okay. back. And he fits in with the system yes, uh, uh super well. Super good balance too. Okay. It kinda reminds me of Saquon a little bit. Oh, that's big. Mm. That's big. Big words. Yeah. Big words. Nasty mm. words. Oh yeah. But yeah, man. Um, question for you: Like, what's your what's what expectations you got for this, yourself and the team this year? What what we looking like, man? How we? What's your thought? Man, I think I think we're gonna, you know, like I said, we take it game by game. But I think our team as a whole this year has a chance to definitely take, uh, you know, the the national championship back if we just do what we're supposed to do. Um, I think I mentioned right. earlier, you know, we have we have a younger team and a lot of guys who came together, um, you know, more so over the spring and summer, I think, than we, we ever had at any point in time last year. Um, and we're kind of just all on the same page. I think we have a great coaching staff, too, with uh, Coach Steele coming in. And, uh, you know, we're going to get ready to start this year off right and uh, end it off right as well. So, Okay. Yeah, and uh, I saw something uh, the other day. Mm-hmm. Is what made me want. We told I told D. I said D. We got to get him on. Mm-hmm. This man said, "I gain the respect soon." <laughs> no. Yes, sir. What went into that? You know what, man. Uh, you know, I just I let the respect come from working hard, and uh, I'm kind of. Right. I guess I'm basically saying. Uh, I'm going to keep working hard and showing y'all, you know, what I can do and how much of an impact player I can be for the team, not even not necessarily for myself, but for the team. Right. Um, and I think that comes, you know, in all of my respect and uh, in a good way, though, not in a cocky way, you know, in a, right. in a good right. way right. because I'm doing things right. You know what I mean? So. Right. That's kind of where I got that from. I may be a little. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I may have been a little angry or something that day I, when I tweeted that or something like that, but I kind of that came out. Of <laughs> hey, but like you said earlier, like you said earlier, you always ready for us at Alabama to do whatever you need to do to put on for this school. So when you say things like you know more for the team, even if you're saying you're going extra hard for the team, that's still gonna help. You know, you, you in the long run. You know, saying your status. So you know. Right. Whether you, whether you put it for the team or for yourself, man, as long as you just keep going hard, we we know where you finna end up, man. You just keep going. You keep that attitude, man. But ain't nobody go thinking you self. I see you just trying not to be self. We already just see you just ready to do anything for the team. So, man, just keep that 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 will to go hard, man. And 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 don't be pointing fingers. Just do. Just take accountability for your own stuff, man. Hey, and 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 hold and hold others to you know their standards. Hey, we'll 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 go far, man. Right, man. I really we gonna go that. far. Yes, sir. We'll do for sure. For sure. Yeah, but that's all I got, man. Uh, uh, if y'all want to, you know, open it up to the flow to everybody else to see what they've Yeah, y'all can open. Hey, see, see who want to talk on the floor. I'm going to ask them one more thing. Uh, outside of yourself, anybody been looking impressive that you that you come, that you you come came into the school year not knowing and like, hey, mm-hmm. such and such over there going to be nice. Uh, you know, like just like you said, you know, you talking about uh, J.H. Anybody else, you just can say like, hey, he going to be nice. Right. Uh one of our new corners, uh, Des Ricks, 
Um, he's been we've been in a couple times together on the same side, so I've gotten to see firsthand what he can do. Uh, he's gonna be a great mm. corner. Uh, he's got a perfect body type for it. He's long, uh, really good at getting back to the hip, even if he he's beat over the top, which is huge. Um, and he he's always he's always around the ball, so. I think he's going to be a great one. He's one of the ones I really noticed coming through. Obviously, you know, Kool-Aid, Terry on those boys. Um, they're going to be great this year as well. But as far as newcomers, uh, De- Dez is one of the big ones for sure. Nice, nice. How are we looking at quarterback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liking the progression of our quarterback? Man, honestly, that's probably the only question I, like, have no clue about. Uh, they all look great to me, honestly. And they're all in a rotation. Um, so I have no clue who, who's really who's really going to be that guy on, on game day. I think they all have the ability to uh, make big plays on Saturdays for sure, which is honestly great to have because we got three of them. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll see as, as it gets closer to fall. That's true. That's true. Well, man, we we glad to have you on, man. And hey, we we'll love to have you again, and then follow up on some of this stuff we talked about today. See how stuff progress, man. And and like I say, hey, we we glad you chose Alabama, and I know you I know you got a uh a, a, a will to show everybody who you can be and will be, and we waiting to see that, man. So just keep that keep that edge about yourself, man, and keep that that mentality, man, and and roll tide, man, and, and shout out to your family as well, and and especially your hometown, man. Like I said, we're glad to have you here, man. Coach P repping for the UA coaches. Just want to say, man, thank you, and roll tide, That's man. And tide. if you got anybody else, you, and if you got anybody else you think need to come over here and uh, get some of this work with your boys, send them on our way. Coach D will definitely uh, set that up, man. But like I said, we we glad to have you, man. Anything you want to say before you get out Most of here? Definitely. I really appreciate y'all having me on. Um, it, was, it was great to talk about, you know, the upcoming season and stuff like that. And I think definitely need to hop back on uh, maybe even after the season just to see how things been going and stuff. That, that sounds great. But I really appreciate y'all having me. For, hey. for real. Hey, cool. Hey, cool. We can do that now. And I like over here, we see what they don't and say what they want. So I'm going to have to also keep it real with you now. Of course. Yo, coach, let me, let me get in there before you leave. All right, I'm going to let you get in there. Hey, but I'm going to tell you this. This is from Coach P.A.K. Go door. I'm going to tell you this now. Mm-hmm. As much as we love these highlights and as much we love to see it, don't you hurt none of our receivers out there, Jay. <laughs> you all want to that boy in there. <laughs> you, you better push him down hey, sometime. I've heard, I've heard a lot about Jay. that. Hey, about stall it. him out, Debo. Stall him out. <laughs> Man, you keep doing what you're doing, Jay. Keep bringing that lump. I appreciate y'all. Hey. I hey, want to say something Jay. bad, but I ain't gonna even say it. Bong him, <laughs> shit, hit him, goddammit. Dude, not some sense in today. Man, get the ball to drop. Shit, won't need no drops this year. Yes, sir. No drops, baby. There we Real. go. There we go. I uh, appreciate y'all. So, all right, Jake, all right, man. Before, Jake, before you leave, yes, sir. Uh, brother, first of all, man, I come from the media world, mm-hmm. um, you know, radio, newspaper, all that. And, brother, I'm so impressed with your poise, man. Like, you, you, the way you answer these questions, you ain't getting no sound bites that might end up on TMZ <laughs> or ESPN. So, <laughs> shout out to you for that. I appreciate it. That's just great training. And the second thing, out of out of the defense, and I just want you to be totally honest between the safeties, the corners, the linebackers, and the, and the D line. Mm-hmm. Where do you see the the biggest strength this year? Um, as far as I guess, I kind of base it off I guess experience. Um, our DBs, our DBs are looking really strong this year. I'm not even being biased. Uh, that, that's definitely true. Um, you know, we got Kool Aid, Terion, who have a lot of experience, obviously. We got Malachi back back there at safety as well. And then uh, a lot of other guys that were feeling ju- just right at DB. Um, backers look great, too. Definitely younger guys this year um, besides, besides Dallas. But, uh, yeah, I, I would have to say DBs for sure. Love it. Love it. Appreciate it. Yes, nice. sir. I appreciate y'all. Nice, nice. Hey, shout out to Funny Man, man. That's one of our biggest personalities down here in Alabama. Andy repping Road Tide to the death, man. He just snuck in the room, and hey, it, we 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 don't like to have somebody that big in the room without a uh, open and welcome, man. But shout out to that man uh, for stepping in here. Hey, you know, you know, you know, it's a part when old Funny Man uh, come in the building, baby. Literally one of the biggest, Jake. I got to lose some damn weight, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, shout out to Funny Man and one more time for my boy Jake. Uh, for my boy Jake, man. Hey, hey, like you said, anytime you want, I want to get in, get on here and uh, express yourself. Want to just holler at, the, at, at your folks, man. We here for you, man. Shout out to Funny Man one more time, and uh, we'll catch everybody next time. Just the unofficial assistance with your man, Coach P, aka Go Do. Shout out to Coach B, shout out to Coach D, and shout out to Coach Nitty. We'll catch all y'all next time. Hold up, matter of fact, did anybody for? Did y'all get? Hey, Coach, uh, uh. Coach D, did you get anybody from the floor? I ain't want to leave my folks out. I know, I know, we got to get Jake out of here, but didn't anybody want to say something outside of uh, OG Funny Man? I ain't want to leave the floor. I, I almost left the floor out. Jimmy, what you got for me, Jimmy? I'm gonna let you talk to him real quick. We got to get him out of here now. Jimmy, what you got for my boy? Got to get him out of here. I done gave him a farewell and everything. Now, I know you're trying to get him out the door. Oh, good. Roll Tide, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Roll Tide, damn it. We hear you the good and clear. My boys, my boys. I'll keep it short, man. Um, uh, this is a real, real, real nice way to become a fan favorite. We really appreciate this from the coaches. Shout out to y'all. Uh, thank, thanks uh, for coming on here, Jake. Yes, sir. Uh, can you tell Can you tell us anything about the receivers? Uh, we're all kind of low key worried about the receivers. Not we're gonna love them to death, regardless. Right. You already know that. But uh, can you put my mind at ease? Oh my! Oh, our receivers are uh, looking great so far. We're actually doing a lot of seven on seven right now. Um, and Coach Wig, being the guy he is, getting them right. Uh, you know, we got Jacory Bond, who's gonna be huge uh, for us. Uh, Jermaine. Um, and then we have a lot of depth as well. You know, we got Kobe um, and a lot of the newcomers that came in who are looking really good as well. Uh, so there's definitely no problem there. Tight end situation is looking good, too. And uh, Coach Reese is running a really good um, offense right now. So it's actually pretty hard to uh, play defense against, but um, we're making each other better. So, But nah, nothing to worry about. We got some, we got some good guys oh, here. And that was a dope question too. Oh, for sure. And that was a dope question too, Jimmy. And bouncing back, bouncing off that question Jimmy just gave us. Shout out to my boy Jimmy Roll Tide. Bouncing off that, bouncing off that question. We've had cats on our side of the ball like Amari Cooper, Ridley, uh, Julio. We done had a string of these guys from Waddle to Devontae, those guys that just couldn't be checked on any given play. Do we have, out of all those receivers you see doing their thing right now, do we have anybody that every time our quarterback, whichever quarterback we got called snap, do we have anybody out of that group that, on any given play, they, nobody just can line up with them. I'm talking about like a Jerry Judy. I'm talking about hitting them with the dead leg, three loose knees in one. I'm talking about you just can't stick with them. Do we have that this year, or is it just a collective bunch? Man, it's hard to be Judy. He's he's definitely different. But uh, a guy who can really move and change direction on you know on the snap of your fingers is my boy Bond uh, from high school. All right. All right. I mean, he's he's right, insanely right. fast. If you look at his track record too, you see that. But uh, nah, he 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 definitely can move different than a lot of people I've seen. It's 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 really hard to stick with him. But um, you know, like I said though, as a collective, they're all they're all looking great. Bond's just one of those guys that's that's pretty tough. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, my boy Bill Bixby, roll tide. Talk to me, man. We got my boy Jake in here, man. Early in, early in his career. Before we get to this NFL status, my man talking to us early. What you got for me, Bill? All right, gentlemen. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, Bill. Good to have you back, Roll man. Tide, Bill. Hey, man, surviving this Arizona heat, man. Uh, you know, uh, Jake, he done a great job answering questions. And the one thing that uh, that I think was missing from a fan perspective was aggression from the defense. And uh, – and, uh, and I think once you're aggressive, because, you know, anyone play football, no defense, you just got to see ball, get ball, and you play right. your man. And I'm wondering if, like, do they feel like they're more aggressive right now in camp and all that good stuff? That That's actually, like, one of the first things I would say um, about the difference in, in this year and last year. Our defense is always going to be aggressive, but this year we got a little chip on our shoulder. Um, for sure, yeah. especially with losing those two last year. Um, but we're, we're looking – I mean, we're flying around the ball right now. Um, there's not a single guy who's walking to the ball, which is great to see. And uh, we haven't really put pads on yet. Um, but once camp turns around, I'm sure it's not going to be any different. It's really just going to up the tempo, and uh, we're going to look even better. So, 
no, we're, we're definitely aggressive for sure on, on all phases. Man. Yeah, Jake. Hey, hey, Jake. I need some fights out there on that practice <laughs> field. I don't care. We got plenty of those. If you have to get in their ass, bro, I'm talking about so much aggression to where you guys, y'all fighting each other because y'all ready to Plenty hunt. of those. You feel the me? only problem is Saban is gonna gonna rip us uh, after practice. It's all good. <laughs> Run some more. Hey, y'all, that, that's fine. That's cool. But as long as we got that aggression, part I remember of the game. being at some of the practices with. I remember seeing them in practice with Ronnie Harrison and all them guys, man. Oh, yeah. Them guys used to fight out there. Calvin Ridley and oh, yeah. them boys be fighting at practice. Oh, sure. Getting thrown out of practice. But but you need that. Oh, though. definitely. You know what I'm saying? Not 100%. For sure. So, you know, uh, like I said, man, keep 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 waking them up, Jake. I think that's that, that's what I'm going to call you. Wake them up, Jake. Cause I like that. They sleep on you right now. <laughs> yes, sir. I really appreciate They sleeping it. on you. For sure. Keep waking them up. Yes, sir. For sure. Hey, my boy, Tommy, what you got? What you got for me, Tommy? Roll tied to you. What you got for me? Tied, Jake. Can you hear me, Jake? Yes, sir. Roll tied, brother. Roll tied. I know. I know we're gonna be pretty good this year. I heard. Mm-hmm. So, For yeah. sure, hundred <laughs> percent. Who you heard that from, Tommy? Huh? Heard that? Who you heard that from? What? That we're gonna be pretty hey, good. Hey, I know, I know. A lot of people say we're gonna be really good this year. <laughs> hey, I ain't sleeping on Bama. I ain't sleeping on Bama. You know I'm not. I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see who your sources is. Who hey, you got? Say this, my you, source. You hear me? Ah, right, say less then. Say less. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all go, man. Y'all have a blessed night, y'all. Yes, sir. All right, son. Roll, roll time, time, man. Hey, roll time. Back, Jake. Hey, yes, sir. Zulu, what you got for me, Zulu? My boy Zulu. Hope you're rolling with that tie. We're going to take you when we're getting out of here, man. Talk what's to going us. On, man? What's going on with y'all, man? What's, what's, what's up what's with your big man? It's a big Alabama supporter. All my buddies in here. Oh, Already. We love to hear. Give a little few words of encouragement. Um, I've been getting a lot of word from the insides that, you know, Kevin Steele is bringing that five power back to the defense. Um, and, Mr. Jake, okay. Pope, I, got, I got just a statement for you. Um, that spring, that spring game, I talk about you in that spring game a lot. The yes, way – you lit up Jermaine Bruton. Did you forget that it was practice? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's, a, ga- that's a, a game, game to me. Like he should. Like he should. That's, that's and, a game and, to and, me. And, 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 and I'm, Sean Taylor in the Pro game. Bowl right. game. Hey. So Sean Taylor in the Pro Bowl. I'm so excited because I've seen some fire and some intensity into that defense that I haven't seen in a couple of years. I've been a fan since 08. I was down in the Mike Shula days. <laughs> I have mm-hmm. not seen this intensity since Minka, Reuben Foster, Eddie Jackson. I have not seen that intensity until now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I we're want, get, we're getting it back. I want the defensive unit to send a statement to the rest of the SEC, not only the SEC, but the rest of the college nation. Because people don't forgot say that, say who that. is the standard of this shit. Because Georgia done got two up. Say now. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got one on us, but we coming the hell back. We need to stand yeah, right. our ground. Hundred percent, and you and totally the defense, agree, man. Take it back, man. Hundred percent, man. I appreciate it. it. Will do. Head up. Don't listen to the naysayers. We coming back. We ain't Four, never sir. left. We ain't never left. Never left, baby. Never left. Talk to him, Zulu. <laughs> we ain't never left. Cause we gonna put it back on the map. Cause I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of it. For sure. Let's get it. Hundred percent. We behind. Totally hey, agree. Hey, I appreciate, appreciate you it. coming on. Oh yeah, man. Thank hey, you appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Hey, appreciate you coming on, uh, Zulu. And uh, like you said, man, hey, glad you glad you uh, didn't mind taking those uh, extra calls, man. You got real fans out here, man. There's a lot of people that love the way you hold yourself up, and you know, and go about your day, man. People pay attention to you up there. You know, you know how y'all are under a little spotlight up there. So you know, people love me how you hand, you know, doing what you do, man. Just keep it up, hey, and hey, and keep everybody mind right on that team, man. We we gonna let you get out of here, man. And I'm gonna let everybody get out of here, man. We'll see y'all next time yes, oh, over here. Unofficial biz with the UA coaches, man. It's Coach P, aka Go Do One Half of the Unofficial Assistants. You might know me as Coach Oos, Honorary Uso. Shout out to Coach B, Coach D, and Coach Nitty. We'll see y'all next week. Wake Bye. up, up, Jake. Yes, sir. <laughs> Roll tide. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. All right, bro. Roll tide.